Dave was talking about doing some knee shield, okay? Some knee shield passes, okay? And uh, knee shield is a real pain to deal with, all right? So uh, let's go ahead and lay down here. So a lot of times what will happen, let's start here first. Boom, I'm smooshing him, I'm smooshing him, and he gets, you know, he gets a good frame. He might even drop his foot to the mat, get a good bump, boom, and then bam, here we are, just like this. Okay, and we're dealing with this, and this is just a real pain. So what we want to do is, the goal for tonight is to get everybody to leave with something. So I'm going to show like three moves, three basic passes, okay? Are there more? Of course there are. But the idea is I'm going to give a tight pass. I'm going to give a, um, like a, uh, like a, a, a circular pass, a tight pass, and then a standing pass. So everybody, because some people might like to pass tight, and some people might like to stand up. It's whatever, okay? So we'll start first with the um, circular motion. And, and we want, and I really like this specific pass the most. It is actually my go-to if I stay low. Because um, what we want to understand is not just about, because obviously we can push the leg down, we can smoosh it and make it miserable, but jujitsu is more than just that. It's about understanding the body. Right now, he's strong on his side. That's where he wants to be. You know, if I was passing already on top of him and his shoulders are flat and pinned, this is where I want to be smushing him, okay? And so that is where he is weak. So what I want to think about is making him weak again by circular motion, okay? So how this is going to work, let's actually turn around so the camera can see because I'm filming this for you guys and I'll put it on YouTube later, okay? Here, just like this. So we got this knee shield. He should probably be blocking framing just like that, which is all the right moves, okay? So the first thing that I want to do is not let him get his bottom leg back. Because if he pulls his bottom leg through, what? We're back into the guard again, and that's what he would like that. That would be nice. So the first thing I do is I pressure in, but I sit on that foot. While I'm doing all that, my hand here is going to go to his hip, and my other hand's going to post out. So while all this is happening, I'm going to take my outside knee and pinch his inside knee. So now that's going to stop you from getting the knee through the hole. Right, just like that. And I'm just kind of keeping my balance here. The next thing I'm gonna do is post up on my foot. And I'm gonna, when I post up on my foot here, I'm gonna start bringing my belly on the inside of that. And I'm just gonna clear it back down tight again. See that? And now I've beaten the knee shield. From here, you've got plenty of options. Go ahead and tie it up for a second. Just sit here. From here, we got plenty of options as far as passing. You know, I can do my switch over. Kimura grip, just like this. If he doesn't like that, or if I start Kimura and he drops his foot and gives me a bump, because he's going to defend. Head to the top, where's my passing? I finish with Kimura. But the idea is, is getting back to that smushing position. So just from here, I'm sitting on his ankle, hand to the hip, hand to the mat, get that knee in there nice and tight. Then from here, what I'm going to do is turn my body in that direction, I'm going to hit him with my belly and just step up and clear that leg. A lot of times, he's going to get that underhook right out the gate. Yeah, I like that. Because now I'm just smooshing him here, come over, just start attacking his Kimura. A lot of people freak out here because the second they feel like they're getting, right, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm breathing heavy. <laughs> uh, once I start doing this, a lot of times, once you rip this, you get this position, they bump right into you. Back, pass, and then you can finish. Four, straight on top. Okay? So, bottom guy for right now. Knee shield in. I'm just pressuring him, and as I'm trying to like turn my body, because eventually I'm gonna get that smush. But right now he's giving me a good high knee. Defending, defending, ha, boom. Right to there, see? Then I step and use my belly to push that down. I totally anticipate the underhook. I want that. And now I just come over to the side and start defending it. Is that baited my Kimura? Ha! Ah, he pops. Boom, right there. Okay? Everybody think they can make this happen? Now, like I said, this is a tight one, and we're understanding position. And you start turning them flat on their back again, and you clear them, and then you smush them. Now, if that Kimura passes it for you, that's okay. But you cleared the knee shield. 
You could do as simple as this, really quick. Go real quick. You could do as simple as this. Here, I'm like this, boom. I start, see I'm circling him? Boom, right to there. I'll come back, I'll get my underhook back. And then, he says he's got my knee. Just drive that knee down, smush him to the mount. It's totally an option too. So if you know that one instead, do that one, okay? But the point was, is we cleared the knee shield. All right, we try it. One, two, three. So look, really quick, let's look at this. We're gonna do this one one more time, okay? Because some of the uh, issues are people are just doing this with their knee. I need you to commit the step almost like a duck walk, okay? Because here, this knee on my belly, keep it, keep it up, like just nice and tight, okay? By pinching this right to here and me stepping this way is, see how he's flat again? So he's flat and I can just slide right in here, okay? Stay on your side for a second, stay right there, like, like look at like an issue. See this right here? That's all I'm doing. Okay, so I'm here. Let's make some adjustments. Hand to the hip, hand to the knee, pinch that knee. Turn your body and step. Instead of hugging the head, take this hand right here and get the armpit and get the underhook and face plant. Right there, yeah, get the underhook, I love it. Now you see here, I'm smooshing him. He's got the underhook, I got the underhook. He crosses his legs. Great. See my hands? I'm on the balls of my feet. I'm gonna lift my butt up, tripod up. Bring this knee over. You see here? See my knees right there. And I'm hooking. Boom. Keep holding my foot. And I'm just gonna cut and push through. Bam, I'm right in the side control. This is a great pass. And it's super simple, but one of the most underrated uh, positions is that near underhook. Because everybody wants the far underhook, right? Far underhook for you um, provides you my back, right? Uh, far underhook for me provides me keeping him pinned. But if I turn him on his side the other way, I have the, the, far, the near underhook, which is actually the far underhook when I land over there. So we're here, hips blocking, get that knee in there, step up and take a knee, boom. All the way up. Get this underhook as you dive. Yes. See how he's smashing my leg right there? Great. And then from here, all I do is tripod up, stretch my leg that's entangled, bring this one over, and I push with that leg that came over. And when I pull this leg, see my toes? You can't see my toes. Everybody look at them. I want to... Oh, look up for something. When I pull my foot through, I want to point my toe. I don't want to keep it like this. I want to point it. Tap your back. Here. And I just go, boop, pop. And then you slide right in the case. And I got two arms to attack. Pin that guy down. And then we're on the top side crucifix. Okay? Let's see if we can make that happen. Alright? One, two, three. You mean like being swept? Right. Yes. You start, yeah, yeah. You start yeah, yeah. That's why this hand's here. See what I'm saying? Because like if you try to scissor me, yeah, see, that's why the hand's out there. And that's why I'm circling and pushing my belly. See that? You see this right here? See how strong you are right there? Femur bone, baby. But well, watch my body. Here's the thing that you can't fight. Dude, every time Dave comes out and trains with me, that's the tightest half guard squeeze. The tightest. It's so hard to get my leg out. But if I try to do this, don't let me do it. Try to do this, do that. Well, watch this. And then I get this underhook, and I'm just hanging up. See what I'm saying? And, and like I said, this is body motion. This isn't me fighting this. I'm turning by being here. As soon as I got this pinched, turn my body. Okay? And you see how I'm like sternum on the inside of that knee, and I'm just sliding in. And too, a lot of times I'll get this underhook, and then I'll I'll do that just so he gets it, because I want him to think he's got it. And then I clamp, and then from there. I just keep running, 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 until I cut and pressure. Of course, there's always a risk of being slow. Because if you shake and bake me, you can pull my wrist apart. Obviously, yes. Okay, but it feels 
That to me is how I get around. That sweet, you know what I mean? You know. All right, let's give it a shot. One, two, three. Two, guys, also never, uh, remember, even if you pass, if you're already past this right here and you're just here like this, that pass that I just showed, I'm like, this is my basic half guard position, okay? And a lot of times, you know, you'll start bringing this knee up and you'll cut that knee over, right? But two, as I do all that and I cut that knee over and I get to here, I can get this underhook and then just re go back into that pass. And that's just a cut across pass. Does that make sense? Okay, so that pass is good. What we just accomplished was dealing with the knee shield. Okay, so that's like our step up, knee clear. So our next one is going to be um, a smush pass. So now what I'm going to do, since we have, um, and you can do this in the gi and no gi, but it's obviously way easier because we got material. Can we spin this way? Okay. So now I'm in the knee shield, still sitting on this leg. I'm putting pressure on this. Now see my body is square. When I take this hand here, now a lot of times people will say, come in, get high up in this hip. We'll say that, which is fine. Some will say, come down to the knee. Um, if I have no material to grab, I usually will go up into the hip, okay? Um, but if I have material to grab, that means he has material to grab. So if I do this and go up into the hip, grab it with this hand. Boom, now I see that right there? Now he's got a lasso guard which totally sucks, okay? So at first I was, thought I was gonna be real smart on my <laughs> And then do that so he couldn't get my sleeve. Then I just figured out, well, what if I just grab behind the leg? So I'm, gonna, I'm literally like in the crook of his knee and I'm just getting that material right there. So now that makes it harder for you to get in there. But you see how my, if my arm is in right there, all you gotta do is take your knee that way you win, right? But if I'm back here, Try to pull my arm a lot harder. See what I'm saying? So I like to get behind the knee, and there's a whole lot of material usually right there. Now once I get that, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna grip this, and then we're gonna be framing. I'm gonna come up, and I'm gonna grab the back of his jacket. And now what I wanna start doing is smushing these two knees together. As I smush these knees together, I need to get this hook off, just like that, and usually I'll come back and hook it like that. But to help that hook, then that, this is the kind of the hard part. I gotta get this hook off, and then I'll re-hook again. But a lot of times I'll use this leg, because we'll be here, keep, keep your finger into me. I'm gonna be smushing him down, and if I can just straighten this leg and clear it like that, I'm, I'm good there, or if I'm like this. But now from here, all I'm gonna do is just pinch, pinch, Shop and pull, and I'm pulling this leg. And once I get this pulled out, this knee comes in, this hand swims back, and I'm kind of just, in my, in my town, we call this the Sailor Park Sandwich. Right here, okay? Feel great. So we're here like this. I get behind the knee. I try to get as high on the collar as I can. I start turning my body, see my shoulder? Boom, smush. Balls of the feet, smush. If I'm having a really hard time getting off this bottom leg, circle a little bit. If I'm having a really hard time getting off this bottom leg and I'm smushing him, but he just, his big toes are still touching here, I'll bring this foot in and I'll capture it. I'll unhook it and then rehook it. See that? And then from here, as I come around, smush, then I chop and pull. Hug, knee, swing back, double under, just like that. I think this is an excellent pass to learn as a beginner because it teaches you how to pressure and keep the pressure on them at all times, but you still get a lot of grips, which is nice, okay? But you have to pull that leg, you have to pull here, and, you have, and then you have to stretch. So one more time, spin it around so we can see the other Usually here, just like this, he's got a good knee shield on him. I'm immediately already gripping, just like this. My sprawl, my sprawl will help kill this leg. Because when I get to here like this, I start to sprawl. See how that kills that? My body, my whole body comes down. Keep my head tight. 
Start coming around and coming around and coming around once I feel good about it. Pull. All right? The mistake is people let go of this leg. If I get this smushed right to here and I think I got it and I let go, that's the leg that comes in. See it? So you can't let that go. You gotta be. We just, um, I call this the overhook pegs from knee shield. And it should be a, an immediate staple because like if he like jumps half guard on me immediately, boom like that, I'm, I'm pushing him away because I don't want him to crunch in. You see what I'm saying? I don't ever want that. That's terrible for me. So I might even be like holding him or framing him or holding him like that or doing this. And then he brings that knee in, then I go to here and then now it's smush. Okay, smush, 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 chop and pass, come back, hug, okay? So let's give that a shot. One, two, three, any questions? All right, cool. Before I show this next one, I want to um, talk about, especially for you um, upper belts, your blue belts and up. In the beginning as a white belt, you're gonna learn a lot of moves and everything's gonna be singular. Singular move, singular move, singular move, singular move. Then you get your blue belt. And you take all those basic fundamental singular moves and you start figuring out how to pair them together. Think like boxing. If I pair the jab and the cross, those are pals. If I, compare, if I pair the hook and the cross, those are pairs. If I go uppercut, hook, that's a pair. Okay, you start pairing these moves together. Then you create combos, right? So my intent is to hit him with a lead hook, but I might have to use the uppercut to make that happen. So I'm gonna go with intent on the uppercut, and if he defends it like this, put your hands like this, keep those elbows tight. Here, he defends it like this, but that ear's open, which is good, so it's a good pair. So now, passing the guard is a great place to start exploring that idea of pairing moves, okay? Because you can't just be a one-trick pony. You have to have minimum three tricks, right? Three ideas. So, and this is all perspective. Usually when I'm approached with this guard and however we got here, it doesn't matter. My first move is I do the one that we just did. I immediately weave and I take my shoulder to his knee and I try to smush his legs together. It's kind of a, a strength test. If I get him smushed, boom, and, I, and it, it falls through, I go. But if I give him that smush, boom, and then he starts resisting me back that way, see that? I go, whop, and I go into my next move. Does that make sense? If this guard is already like high like that, see how that knee's high, I'm like, like this, I'll just start doing this. He hips out and drops that knee down on me, or, or does that, that's fine, I'll just step up, it doesn't matter to me, I'm clear. But you see, I always got a back up there, okay? So what we want to understand in this passing system, or passing of anything, or escaping, or even submitting, is two singular moves put together is a pair, that's a combo, right? The more of those you start to understand and figure out, the more dangerous you become, okay? So that's the idea. Um, and that's, um, and what you could do is you could take like the, the blue belt requirements over there and you could just be like, hey, does this move and this move pair together? Yes, cool, that's a combo. Write out a list of combos and then get to work. Start repping out the combos, understand how they work, how they don't work, which one feeds into the next one. I go for one move, it fails, I fail, to the, I fall, I fail forward into the next move, okay? So just so we understand the principles behind what we're doing. I'm not just here to show you moves. The idea is to be able to learn how to tie them together to where it's a system, okay? So now, last one. We, um, so we had a right and we had a left. Okay, so I always try to go left. If, he, if it doesn't work out, then I go right. If I try to go right, I go left. And then if neither of those work, because this dude's got a great knee shield, now we're gonna go up, okay? So here, so go around this way. So I'm here now, trying to do this one, trying to do this one, he just can't, I just can't make it happen. So what I do is I kind of get really pissed off. I take my hand, I keep it on his hip. I'm always on his hip or I'm grabbing his pants and I'm always pushing his hips that way. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this hand and post and I post this foot and I'm gonna grab behind his knee, right to here. 
okay? And as I get behind his knee right here, I'm coming back up to that hip. I get on the ball of my feet, and I'm gonna get right to here. See my hand on the hip? Just like this. X pass, right to knee right. Okay? So this hand can be on the hip, or you can come up and grab this collar. I like this. Like this. Usually when I'm doing this nogi, my hand is always on the hip. But if I got the collar, I grab it a little bit under and I start pushing that. Feel that? See, because that helps me push it back down. I'll get my grip right here. Because I'll be grinding in, making it think off, and I see my foot comes up. Ha! Just like that. Okay, so one more time. I'll talk everybody through it. Pressure in. Get this grip right to here. Push it around his armpit. Gives me a hook. Then from here, keep your head in, pressure, pressure. My hand, secret ninja hand, comes <laughs> under his knee. And I've got good grips. Then I come up like a uh, transformer onto my toes. I'm ready to fire. Post my leg, and I'm gonna do a lunge that way. And I'm gonna get him flat. Wow, right to here. Once I get to here, this leg gets pushed in as I do the donkey kick, kick the person behind me, knee on belly, right to here, okay? This is called the X pass, um, and it's a fantastic pass, okay? So, everybody good on this? You want me to do it one more time? Speaker forever, hold your peace. <laughs> one more time, see, it's all tricks. It's all right? Good. Here, man, I'll spin it around just so you get a good view. Right, so we're here. Get this collar grip in the armpit, pressure. Get behind the knee right here, pressure. Balls in my feet, post. Circle him, push the leg in, high step. Come right here, knee on belly to make a big. Okay, let's do it, last one, one, two, three. When we get, um, Jason, more about At any time in this little three part series, Let's say, you know, we got a one, a two, and a three, and I just showed them in a one, two, three order. Uh, you know, a, a tight circular pass, um, the leg wrap pass, and then the standing pass. Nobody ever said you had to do it in that order. I don't actually like calling it a one, two, three, because everybody associates one, two, three with first, second, third, a hierarchy. This isn't a hierarchy. It's more like square, rectangle, cylinder. There's no hierarchy, okay? It's just... It's just things on the wall, right? So if I'm here and I I don't like smushing him, I'm a, boom, I'm right to here. Ah, go. Will you find trouble here? This is half guard. It's just standing up, right? I might go from here for my kick back, but when I kick back, am I like, up? Oh, nope, didn't work. But if I hold his knee, because like I told you, I gotta push your leg down, right? I push your leg down and then kick. Oh, but it didn't work. You see how my knee popped? You see how my knee's already clear? Then from here, I just go, ah, boom, and I hit that pass. Nobody never said you couldn't do that. Okay? So, it doesn't have to be one, two, three. But if we do the numbering system, it could go one, two, three. It could go uh, three, two, one. It could go one, three, two. It could go one, one, two. It could go three, two, three. You get what I'm saying? You take the three moves home and figure out how you like to do it. it today, for just being here, I'm, I'm literally just planting the seed. That's all, all we're doing. If anybody ever tells you, you gotta do it this way, they're full of shit. Okay? Because clearly, we're not in the same way, Gladys. You're bald. I got that. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on, you see what I'm saying? Because nobody is the same. But the moves all work. They all work done done correctly, which is right place, right time. They all work. But they also don't work. Done at the wrong place, at the wrong time. So this is just one little snippet um, of jujitsu from Knee Shield. You then take these ideas, you now have, you know, 15 feet of shoveled snow, You're, that's your path, here's the shovel, start shoveling, figure out your path. That's the idea. And that's for every rank in this room. And that includes me and Coach Mike over here, okay? Because we're still finding our path. So I just want to wrap that up in the conclusion of learning. You know what I mean? And two, 
When you learn a move, usually the coach should show the move at the boldest perspective because that allows everybody in the room to absorb it. Some will absorb faster, some will not. It's okay. But the point is, is then things will get tightened up, tightened up, tightened up through repping. All right? And that is our learning process. And that's really what I want to promote to every student. Okay? Is the learning process is hard. It's physical. It's very mental. Um, it's very intellectual. Uh, it can become emotional, especially if you kind of harp on it way too long. Sometimes you just need to shut up and just go to practice and just grind out through it. Um, and that's what makes this so awesome, okay? Is that it, it's literally the puzzle, okay? Um, but it, what it also does, all those individual things, is it's the community that allows all that stuff to happen. And that's what I want to definitely reinforce is if you're in the right community, success will happen for everyone. It will happen faster for some, but the people that it happens slow and steady, hey man, slow and steady still wins the race. We can all be millionaires. It's just gonna take like 25 years, all right? You know what I'm saying? So that's uh, what I wanna conclude. So take those ideas, the theories of, hey, I can use this move or this move, or two, you might find another move that you take out the first one that I showed and you put that in. I don't care, it doesn't matter to me, I'm gonna show you three moves, okay? Cool, any questions? Thank you guys for uh, participating. Thank you for coming out. Thank you for uh, just doing what you do. I appreciate it. Um, I love coming out here. The hospitality is always awesome. It's great to see everybody's uh, improvement in the growth of the gym. All right, uh, coach, line up. Fix your keys and your belts, line up. We got stripes. One, we got two, three. Promos.